Welcome everyone, I'm Joe the Lawnmower, and today I'm going to address something that's really bothered me. So let's get started. So the reason why I'm making today's video is one of the big influencers out there, one of the big DIYer, long care nut people that are in the community, put out on his story the other day about throwing down winterizers, but it was specifically what type of winterizer he was throwing down. He was throwing down a water soluble fertilizer. It's a high nitrogen water soluble fertilizer and I want to explain why I don't agree with that. In his Instagram story, he addressed saying that it's better to throw the fertilizer out on the ground and let it sit over the winter that's the key right there guys it sits over the winter time and i'll address why that's false in a second but another thing was is he said that why have it in the bag have it out on the lawn honestly guys if you put it and you store it in a cool dry area and it doesn't get wet the fertilizer is going to be fine it's going to be there next year in the springtime so you could throw it down then if you didn't put it down in enough time in the fall time Obviously, if you throw down a water soluble nitrogen source, it will uptake in the grass blade, but it will not all take up in the grass blade, especially if you're going to a freezing temperatures. If the ground temperature is already in the frozen state, it's not going to take up at much at all. So what's going to happen is it's going to leach out into your ground, into your soil, and into your waterways. It's really bad for the environment. So it was obviously, it was very false and not fair to you guys out there to hear that information from this big influencer. Especially someone that like me, I try not to use any herbicides in my lawn. I really strongly believe in not using, trying to use any chemicals in my lawn. And that's why going into next year, I'm changing up my approach on what kind of fertilizers I will be using in my own yard. So what I did today is I'm gonna show you a little experiment that I saw on Instagram and I wanted you guys to see it out on my channel and whoever else would like it. So please Please share this video, like it, comment, share it to anyone that you would think would benefit from this at the end of the video. I'm going to do a little experiment. I'm going to put a, a high water soluble nitrogen fertilizer in a mason jar right here behind me, shake it up, and I'm going to show you exactly how much is left after you shake it up with a little bit of water and it's, you'll be very amazed with the results. So what I did was is I filled up this mason jar right here. It's a 2406 fertilizer. It's actually flagship. I still have some left over. I had to change up my spoon feeding program because of the flagship being such a slow release fertilizer. So this is actually flagship right in here. It's a 2406. Most of the flagship is a water soluble nitrogen. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna fill this up with water and what that's gonna do, it's gonna simulate rain and snow and sleet and the different kind of elements that you're gonna get during the winter time. So obviously this is what this what I'm trying to do is simulate basically what happens is if you throw this down in your yard before you have a hard freeze or you're going right into a hard freeze or even if you've already gotten into a hard freeze and the soil temperatures are not going to uptake any of the nutrients that are in here, this is going to simulate what it would do and how it's going to leach out in your yard if you don't throw it down in time. So the first thing that I want to do is actually I want to mark off the line here. So I just want you guys to see how much is actually left over after I shake it up. So I'm just going to use this little paint uh, brush right here. It's, a, it's almost like a Sharpie. So I'm just going to mark it off so you guys can see how much is left over when I get done shaking it out. So next, just going to fill this up with a little bit of water. This is just regular cold tap water. That's all we want, just a little bit in here. Again, all this is really doing is simulating snow, sleet, rain, different kind of elements you're gonna get throughout the winter time. Now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit. I'm gonna speed this up so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing and please don't make fun of my shaking power. So one of the things I wanted to point out, I just got done shaking it for probably about a minute so far. The urea, because there's urea in this, it gets super cold. So this jar right now is super cold and that's what you expect when you're shaking up urea. And as you can see there, that was the original line right there and that's all that is left. Just one more time, that was the original line and then that's all that is left. So obviously this demonstration right here shows you how much water soluble mixture is actually in this fertilizer. Just that little bit is left and you'll find one more thing that's really interesting. I'm gonna strain this out. I did this last night 
and I was very shocked to see what was left over after looking at the fertilizer. Uh, but what I'm going to do, strain it out to show you guys one more time. So what I'm going to do next is, is I'm going to be out of frame on this. I have my cup of water right here. I just have a little strainer right here. This is actually a paint uh, strainer right here. You put these on five gallon buckets. I just cut it so I can easily get this mixture out. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to open this up. I'm going to pour it out so it strains out so we can see what's left over in this mixture right here. So as you can see, I strained everything out. You can still see some filler in here. I believe these are some stones. You can see the biosolids, which are those black dots throughout here. And again, we did strain all that water out in this little bucket right here. But as you can see, we definitely have some probably, I don't know what the blue is, I believe. If you do know what the blue is, please comment below. I've reached out to some people. They think it's a polycoated, some kind of maybe nitrogen uh, source. But as you can see, this is what was left over after shaking out. Most of that white, I believe, which is the water soluble urea evaporated. So that's pretty much all gone because this is what the original flagship looks like. So obviously you can see here's the dry version. And then this is after we shook it up with the water. So I did the same experiment last night. And as you can see, there is some stuff that's settled at the bottom. And you can still see a couple a couple of the items did float to the top, as you can see there. And the blue, which is the blue stuff over here. So um, my assumption is that stuff that's floating to the top is some sort of polycoated plastic, probably urea. So you can see that didn't really break down, but the blue did, some of the blue did definitely break down overnight. I just let this sit in my garage overnight after I just did the same experiment. I did shook it, shake it up real nice. You can see that was the original mark right there. That was, that's all that's been left over. Again, this is the same solution. This is a 2406. So as you can see here, a nitrogen water soluble source is definitely going to leach out into the environment and into the soil, especially if you do not get it down in time before a hard freeze or before the ground freezes again the reason why i made today's video is i want people to be think and be logic that's what the instagrammer actually said he said he wanted to show some logic well my logic is i'd rather see you keep the fertilizer in a bag in your garage out of harm's way and not in the waterways and not leach into the soil as you guys could see here today the water soluble nitrogen will definitely break down and leach out into the soil so again, use some logic. The fertilizer is not going to go anywhere. If you do not get it down in time, it's fine if it sits in your garage over the winter time. As long as you put it in a dry storage area and you can't, it can't get wet and it's in its original bag. I even sometimes use five gallon buckets that you can get at Home Depot and Lowe's and just seal them up. It's fine. They're, the fertilizer is not going to break down. It will be there for you in the springtime. So just to recap what I did today, I put the 2406 fertilizer in my mason jar. It was actually flagship because that's what I had left over. And again, it is a water soluble nitrogen source. I put it into that mason jar. I put a regular tap water in there just to simulate rain, sleet, and snow that you would get over the winter time, especially in the Northeast where I'm located. I just wanted to show you guys what a water soluble nitrogen source can do after it gets touched by water, sleet, snow, any of those kind of elements. It's definitely going to break down. It's definitely going to leach out into the soil. And we also did strain out the mixture so you guys could see what was left over. As you could see, there was definitely the biosolids in there. That, those were the little black pebbles. They were definitely left over. There was some kind of either limestone or some kind of filler that was left over. There was a lot of that in that mixture as well after we strained it. And there was definitely some blue. I believe it's polycoated, some kind of plastic urea. And as you could see, it does float to the top after that mixture that I left over night. You could see it definitely some of that floating to the top. So again, I just wanted to make this video because that Instagram story did really bother me after doing a lot of more research and reaching out to some other influencers out there and some other people that are in the community. I, I just came to the conclusion that it's really not great to throw down a water or soluble nitrogen source right before it, your ground freezes or if you get a hard freeze. It's definitely going to leach out into your environment. That grass blade is definitely slowed down at that point where that grass blade is not going to take in any of that nitrogen anymore. It's not going to, if it does take in any nitrogen, it's not going to be much. So whatever that nitrogen source is left over, it's definitely going to leach out into your waterways and it's going to pollute the environment. And that's really why I made this video. I just want people to be more environmentally conscious of what they're throwing down 
in their soil and in their yard. If you found today's content helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. It helps people find the videos on my channel. And if you have any questions or concerns on today's video or on any of the videos on my channel in general, leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. And like always guys, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>